Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be modifying the 7x18 flatbed car hauler with some recessed D-rings and a 12,000 pound Smitty built wireless winch. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is burning a mounting bracket, a backing plate, for the back of this recessed mount. We're going to make it out of steel and put it on the back side of the wood so it doesn't pull through or crack the wood. Okay, so we just got done designing the part in CAD and CAM. So now we're gonna put it on the five by 10 torch mate and burn it out. We're running the 45 amp fine cut nozzle. This actually gives us a better cut than using the 65 or the 85 amp nozzle and electrode. I think actually the electrode's the same, just the nozzle and swirl ring might be different. But I like to use that whenever I can, just for the fact that you get a slower cut speed and it makes your cuts look a lot nicer. We could run this on 85 amps and get it done in probably, I don't know, a quarter of the time, but the cut just won't be as nice. Okay, so you can see here's the D-ring that's gonna be recessed and the backing plate. It's actually like this. Well, as you can see, that made an absolute mess. Um, that was just on the first depth cut. So now I have to make a couple more passes and go down to an inch. So uh, definitely messy. You have to clean this all up. So Okay, so I just got the pocket all routed out. We're going to drop the D-ring in, mount the backing plate, and get this one finished up. Okay, so here everything is sat out on the trailer. Got the remote, the hook, some wire, the controller wire, roller fair lead, control relay box, and then the winch itself. Everything definitely seems very high quality. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is get the measurements off the bottom of the winch so we can put them into CAD for our mounting plate. So these four holes here where the winch is going to mount and then these six or where it's going to mount to the trailer frame. So I'm going to finish weld this and then we'll mount it to the trailer. So it fits pretty nice. You're going to have to take this all back off and paint it or powder coat it. So. Okay, so I just got finished welding everything up. Uh, I have to go cut two more parts, two more brackets for support. So here's what it looks like. Got the fair lead holder on there, the battery box. So now I just need to make two brackets that go from here to here that will support the battery since that is going to be overhung.
So as you can see, the winch is mounted, the mounting plate, the fair lead mount. All the connections are made. I mounted the battery box up here just so it was out of the way. That's all one piece. It's gusseted, double gussets. That way that's not going anywhere. So one thing I am doing is I'm shortening the power cable that goes to the battery. So it was quite a bit longer than this. So I cut it down, stripped the end. So you just tighten this locking knob and then pump the handle and it crimps. That's what it looks like after it's crimped. Okay, so here's another view of the winch with the cover on it. I have one of my recessed tie downs that I have to still put in there. The winch and the tie downs all have backing plates. The winch is tied into the frame on, let's see, four of the six bolts that hold it in, so it's super strong. It's all gusseted. Batteries mounted on the front side so it doesn't take up any deck space. So we're gonna get the two recessed D-rings in and that should pretty much be it for the day.